heavy rain, creating an alarming situation on the east side. Rescue crews desperately trying to save a dog stranded on a small square of land, water rising around her. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini joins us live tonight. And Brianne, we understand it may have been there for days. That's right, Glenda. I'm here at Animal Control tonight, and that's where the dog is right now, getting the care she desperately needs. Now, neighbors who live by this vacant home say they heard the dog for days, and then when the rain came, the situation just got worse. Well, we think somebody dumped her. Dennis Gens is one of the concerned neighbors here off Ashland on the city's east side. Neighbors say no one lives in the home. The man who owns the property lives across the state. Well, we've been hearing a dog howling for, I don't know, a week. He watched the water rise in this backyard, stranding this pup to a small area of ground. He said another neighbor has been feeding the dog and he's tried calling agencies for help. You can't get people saved in this town, let alone a dog. Tonight, along with the Detroit pit crew dog rescue, they called 7 Action News. With the police, animal control, this is the dog rescue people. They're powerless to do anything. We got to call you. And without you, nothing gets done. We contacted DPD to help get animal control officers out. And now since the rain has come, the creek has risen and it's flooded. So she's got a little cubicle area to stand in, filled with mud and she's being eaten with flies. Animal control officers responded quickly. The dog was brought to safety. Animal control will work on contacting the property owner and work to get this dog adopted. As long as the dog is safe and out of the cold and out of the mud and not being eaten by flies. We're all happy. Of course, we're glad to see the dog out of that mess as well. It will be a few days before she's available for adoption. And if you're interested, contact Detroit Animal Control. Live tonight in Detroit, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. Brianne, thank you for the live report there.